I think this thing is ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to visit J.P. Vandybunt and check out a couple of his monster roadsters. I first met J.P. about a year ago, and he had his Rolls-Royce-powered torpedo-bodied speedster at a show, and it just blew me away. Then a few months later, he was at a show with this gargantuan boat-tailed behemoth, and I said, I gotta do a piece with this guy. So here I am, and here they are. Let's live large. It's the product of my sick imagination. I like your sick imagination, my friend. And I respect that. I respect that. And the sick imagination. But it started his life as a 1950 uh, fire truck in Miami Beach. But, uh, you know, it was a little bit converted since. A little bit, yeah. I love it, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, brother. JP, great to see you, hey, man. Dennis, good to see you again, man. <laughs> man, you look great. Your cars look even better. Thank you. Yeah, they do. So it was, I, I don't know, several months ago, a year ago or so, I first met you down at, in Orlando. Festival of Speed, yeah. Festivals of Speed at, yeah. at the Ritz-Carlton. You had this, had this baby one, yeah. here, this Thunderbolt, which was just, what it, it was probably the most insane car at the whole show. I mean, there were some really cool cars there, but this, you had prime real estate, first of all. You had that yeah, beautiful, you're yeah, under the nice arbor, and all, yeah, it was all great. Yeah, it was a good but setting. it's such an interesting vehicle. And you, you've dubbed this the Thunderbolt, right? Right. So what's she built on, frame-wise? Uh, the frame is actually a 1928 Cadillac. Oh, okay, okay. But this is, I mean, this is what I just think is magnificent. If you look at it uh, closely, uh, Dennis, you will see that we started in the middle and we actually mirrored each plank. Oh, yeah, you yeah, see yes. the grain? Right, like right. And, and, as, and, and the light and dark, too. It's yeah. really dark here, yeah. it's light there. Yeah. But you're right, it's a mirror and then you so nicely hidden the, the screw plugs there? The screw, the screw and it's plugs. nice when the sun hits it and you walk around it, it, it kind of moves, you know? <sighs> I mean, it's, it's stunning. And then the, I mean, the tail lights look like, uh, I don't know, a deep sea diver's helmet. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what are they from? They're old vintage uh, Bentley style. Uh huh. And yeah. I like the leaves are wrapped. That's a period right. thing. That's a period thing, absolutely. It keeps yeah. them clean and, and kind of quiet. Right. But this is nice. And, the, you know, the little windshield there, uh, it looks like it had to be custom made. Yeah, oh yeah. And this one and the front windshield. Is that cast? No, no, it's, it's, it's really like, bent. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, really wow. bent. Yeah. And the, I guess she's all aluminum, your fenders and everything? Yeah, the fenders actually were there when I bought it. Uh-huh. Well, the wheels were... But I put are... bigger tires on it because it had smaller tires on well, it. These so now fit the size. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is fine, yeah. But, I mean, the interior is fantastic, too. Was this all transformed when you went with the wood back? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. The, everything, we took everything off of the car up to the dash. Uh -huh. Some of the gauges that were there we left intact, and then we added other gauges. Like that one there, for instance. Uh huh. Can I open this? Because oh, yeah, the yeah. way they open is just actually, they yeah. actually fall the away. The golden doors that go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drunk gold. <laughs> right, right. And look at the mechanism; it's kind of cool over here. It, it is. I mean, it's beautiful, and it's just the the supports. Every yeah. the woodwork is magnificent. And then, of course, it's it's it, when it, you get the, up here. Yeah, it's the engine. <laughs> the car the engine was built around, around the engine. That's what it's all a about. A Rolls Royce V12 meteor. meteor Monster, powered by Rolls it, Royce, and it spits fire. And right. it spits fire. <laughs> it is. It's incredible. And and you know the, the the length of the nose, which I think now with this kind of the cigar back, it it's balanced. Yeah, yeah. I've showed you the pictures of what it, it was wasn't like before. Right before. It was, too, it was just again, too short. Too short. Right. Yeah. Right. But now you've got it. You've got it balanced. Yeah. You've still got this magnificently long nose. And, and the line goes from the top, goes down, slopes you know? down the whole way. I, that's why we made the back windshield a little, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the lower. The whole thing has got a yeah, line. That's that got that look now, the flow. And you got this, you know, huge Rolls yeah. radiator V12. Yeah. Let's open it up and have a look. Let's okay. look. Ugh. Good tight straps, that's important. There Where she is. Where's she sit? Right there? Here comes Johnny. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Here's Rolls. Wow. So this is basically, I mean, this is the engine that they put in Spitfire airplanes. They ran them in tanks. Yeah, mostly. Okay, this, is, this engine kind of derived 
off of the Merlin engine and uh -huh. then it became the Meteor later on. And the Meteor was produced in the, in the late 40s and even into the mid 50s. Where did this engine come from? This, was it in something? Or? It was in a, inside a crate. It was inside it was in a crate. <laughs> yeah. well, it that's was, it was, it was a, the army engine? had it and, and a, you know, they had a... Like a surplus Yeah, it was like a surplus engine and, and everything was brand new. So it's so, got hardly any miles on so it. So it's like a new 1949, 50? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and you're coming straight off the cylinders. I mean, this thing, I saw oh, it yeah, when you fired yeah, it up. She crazy. shoots flames. It, and, it does. And it's, I mean, it's it makes a racket and it's downright terrifying. The, the, the torque is incredible. You, you have this in first gear and you let it idle, it'll crawl up a building. <laughs> Man, it, but it's just, I mean, it looks fantastic. I love the way she sits in there. Yeah. You know, again, canted back, but they always, I guess that's how they always sat. And now I know this is, I mean, it's largely a show car, but she fires up, she runs. Yeah. Um, like you say, the, the brakes are, but what do you say we take it and just get well, a you little? you got to think ahead a little you know, bit. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Let's do a little road work with it, can we? All right, let's, let's yeah, roll. Yeah. And you, I can drive it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah be oh. my guest. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> That's right, it opens this way. That's right. Yeah, it's so wild, man. All right. Let me put my goggles on. Oh, yeah, I forgot my goggles. I can't believe it. I can at least turn my hat around, though. Be yeah, you better. Yeah, better, or it won't be there. <laughs> it won't be with me any longer. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure right. we... Oh, oh you, really, you really got it going I'm ready on. for this Man, one. you are. So clutch okay, in. Okay, how about this? You, you look marvelous, absolutely marvelous. So what do we do, left? Main switch to the left. Down. 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 And push. Flame on. Yep. Take off. This thing's crazy. This thing's insane. <laughs> it's like you're from another planet. <laughs> and with those pipes coming out, it just looks so menacing. <laughs> I love that sound. Nice when it pops, right? mackerel <laughs> jp this thing's insane this is work <laughs> this is power steering by armstrong but what an experience man let's uh let's check out the vendorment oh that's gonna be a breeze <laughs> after this oh yeah <laughs> what a trip <laughs> holy cow jp <laughs> that thing is insane you're right about the brakes <laughs> yeah this is a lot better about the, about the now brakes this here. this is a, this is amazing it makes this look like a toy and i've been around some pretty unique cars um I just never seen anything this wild and this big. It's just huge. This is really the first one you did, though, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. So again, same uh, woodwork, same, same boat builders. Uh, yeah, same guys, uh, same concept. Uh, the car was partly done, but it wasn't this at all. And again, I just chopped the whole back end off of it, and and, and went chopped the down. windshield and moved things around and well, had these did, boat builders do this. You did this wood again, just yeah. I mean, magnificently. Again, and see how to if it, it moves in the, in the sun when you walk around. It does, it's just, I mean, the grain is beautiful. A lot of that's, work that's went into that. It's all mahogany, yeah. So yeah. this started life as what? Uh, it was a 1950 Seagrave fire truck tractor of a tractor and a trailer that was in Miami Beach. Wow, so it lived down here. It lived in Miami it was Beach. A, it was a fire truck. Yes. <laughs> and it had been turned into a kind of a monster, hot, or partially turned right. into a monster. It, hot it was actually the guy here, Locally, he was inspired by the Blasteline, which, which uh -huh, yeah, the Blasteline diff, brothers, you know, yeah, different, yeah. but you know, similar kind of look to it. And I believe they may they even use the same frame. Ah, okay. So this, all this boat wood here, and these though would have been the original fenders. Feel that? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's like three inch oh, uh, man. steel. You know, <laughs> that's that's a lot of but, metal. But there. we, you know, we we did make these type of moldings uh -huh. in it. And we cut them around, and you know, so we changed them around a little bit. This looks like 60s 60 Dodge Plymouth. Polaro Plymouth, Plymouth or yeah, something. Yeah? yeah, that's what it looks like. And we just molded it into the fender. Golly, and these gargantuan uh, semi truck yeah. wheels, yeah. basically, aren't they? And it's called a super single. Oh, you had super singles on yeah, there. I didn't even look is. at that. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, that's, oh yeah, it's like. Pfft. Yeah, that, I mean, that's dual, duels in a single tire. That's right. Whoa. And see how the exhaust is coming out here? Well, it looks like, like a boat. A boat. You know? yeah. yeah. 
And this door just, she basically goes all the way open, right? Right. So is this a map pocket or? Yeah, open it up, yeah. Hey, it's a man's car, <laughs> so it's gotta have the cigars. cigars Come a pipe. On. <laughs> do, do you have cigars on the other side too? Uh, well, what belongs, what goes with the cigars? Cognac, usually. Don't let the cops see this one. <laughs> that, that's classic. <laughs> Unopened or opened container. Uh, so, cigars and cognac. And of course, Perfect. we got the, the blue velour as a background, you know. <laughs> it's gorgeous. You think of everything, JP. I try. I like that idea. I do. <laughs> and uh, George Barris. That was a real compliment. Yes. George, I mean, he's, yeah. he's the that king of real customs, compliment. really. So another, I mean, another classic touch here. The, the yeah, this this this, this baby here is almost like a, a Duesenberg on steroids. <laughs> I'll, I'll say. <laughs> so you know, it has the supercharger pipes on on one side. Shoes. And again, I mean, she's you know, she looks uh, she looks semi up here. You yeah. Know? I mean, you oh, got yeah. you got still oh, the yeah. original truck. These are beautiful. These yeah. always struck me as yeah. like space alien helmets or something like that. They look almost the same as a, a wood light. Uh huh. And kind of like a knockoff of it, but of course they got the modern lighting. What were in they there used on? Uh, the wood lights were used on a uh, Ruxton. Okay. Standard on a Ruxton, and from the 20s and 30s. I love your mascot, though. What? Yes. What is? I mean, that's almost a, that's almost a Von Dutch or something. It's, it's a flying very eyeball, to it, isn't it? You know, and I found it on eBay, and I just had I did a stupid, <laughs> I think 2,000 bucks or whatever it was ending up. I was gonna. But you were going to have it. I was going to have it. <laughs> now that. these, which sort of mimic these. Yeah. They actually light up on the inside. Oh. So I'm going. Yeah. And they're blue. Have they were like. Oh, yeah. Man. So the Thunderbolt was powered by a, a Rolls Royce meteor engine. Meteor. This is a. This monster. this what car is, this is extreme yet reliable. It's got a 454 Chevy big block. <laughs> That's extreme 700 trans and, and reliable. <laughs> so automatic trans, push button control, power steering, power brakes. All the comforts. You drive this like a car. Although it looks like a Mack truck. But a 454, which is a big engine, almost must be lost in this engine. Compartment. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a second one in there. <laughs> Seriously? If, if you, yeah, that's my plan. If you look at all the gauges on the, on the dash, they're you'll mirrored? see that they're mirrored already. And there's two startup buttons and everything. Everything is already wired for the so second two engine. engines. Boom. Yeah, it was like the old cigarette boats uh, back boom. in the 80s, you know, start engine number engine number two. Boom. It's America, you know. Yeah, hey. Only America. America. You come around the corner, you can always shut up number two. You know? <laughs> so, let's, can we look in there? Oh, yeah, yeah. All sure. right, we'll open her up. And open it up. You'll see that, that big ass 454 is drowning in this engine bay. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a peanut, like a little Morris Minor engine. Oh, and it opens that way. I would have expected butterfly. Oh man, boy, uh, you you do have room for another engine. Oh yeah, a whole easy, other yeah. engine. I mean, yeah. You could stand inside this and work it's on it. Easy, yeah. You don't even have to pull it out. No. Nope. Wow. But it is. I mean, it's really reliable. Muscling that thunderbolt around was an experience. But I'd I'd love to take this. Oh, baby this will out. be a breeze There's after that. Breeze. Oh yeah. I got the you're gonna love thing this. out of the way, right? You're gonna love driving this. Oh man, I I think I am, JP. Let's. Let's take this baby for a ride. All right. Um, this is big. <laughs> this, this is really big for a two, a two seat roadster. Okay, so automatic transmission this time, eh? Yep. yep. Button a break. Uh, ignition. So that's ignition. Yep. Then push the button. And she ought to start. Yeah. Nice and smooth 454 Chevy. So this is this is kind of the strip in Fort Lauderdale, huh? Yep. This is nice. This is the way to do it too. This is just oh, cruising. This, this is cruising, man. Oh man. It's like driving a car. Well, I've been in some big cars before, but I gotta tell you, it's maybe the biggest car I've ever been in. It just sits so tall. You feel like a god in a cherry, you know? <laughs> I gotta get me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably should. <laughs> so this is this is like downtown, right? Oh this yeah, is like, this is Los Olos. Man. The trees, the sidewalk cafes, and that's where we had dinner last night. You parallel parked this thing. Oh, yeah. I was really yeah, impressed. Easy, man. 
<laughs> Not the two. It is one finger steering, I will, yeah. I will admit. It's amazing. I would never have thought that you could just drive this thing around like a regular car when I saw it. I'm digging it. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage in the Monster Roadster. Happy motoring. <laughs>